What else would we be doing here if we are not maintaining the status quo, eh? <laughs> But we have a very big hurdle. Some of the laws in this new constitution are very challenging. We are a country of contradictions. The same Kenyans who stood up to say that we are not going to tolerate any leader who is against this constitution are the same Kenyans now who are clapping for the same leaders. That's how backward we are as a country. Tunenda ku vote on fourth. In fact, me nilikuwa nimekataa hata sikati kadi ya kura, but nimesoma soma katiba nini nini nikakuwa convinced at least nitaenda ku vote. Kuna chui, kuna fizi, kuna nini? Sasa unaangalia tu ule mwenye kwa mtuli. Uongo pia ukijaribu kudanganya hata fizi itakuja kudanganya na ni mtu na kudanganya na kukudia hata mtoto. There are forces beyond what we see, what we put in place. It's even beyond the laws that we put. They are forces that maybe even trample on our laws. We can pull some strings here and there. We can have that constitution amended in our favor, all of us. Yeah, we must get back into the government by any means necessary during the elections. Right? Yeah. Yeah. We cannot, we're not here to hand over positions. <laughs> no, no, no. no. elections bill was being debated in parliament it was being debated by members of parliament who have an interest in it and therefore they were setting very low standards for themselves because they, they know very well that they are the ones uh, who are going to be facing that particular law one remembers very well that it preferred to have members of parliament with certain education standards that was watered down they set very high standards for a position of a governor for instance but because they knew very well that uh, they, some of them will be going for uh, positions of a senate, some of them will be going for uh, uh, women reps, they ignored those ones and they did not want to put very high standards uh, in them. I mean, why, why would an MP need a degree to run his <laughs> constituents? Yeah, haven't we been running our constituencies without these degrees? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Even these county assemblies, we don't need them. We don't need I'm them. sure you all have people you can put in these posts. Yes. Yeah. Oh yeah, thanks to money. And you know, Mr. Chairman and I can fix this within a fraction of a second, and you all know that. We agree. <laughs> <laughs> and with elections becoming imminent, uh, members of parliament uh, realized that they were not ready uh, for, to meet the deadlines that had been set up in the Act. The, the period within which uh, registration of voters was supposed to take place was shortened. The deadline for the deposit of uh, political party lists uh, was shifted. The deadline for submission of uh, nomination certificates to the IEBC shifted several times. And what this means is that uh, there was no time to do proper dispute resolution, first within the political party itself, and secondly at the IEBC level. Nominations uh, as conceptualized under the law was that uh, only party members are supposed to participate. But what happened is that uh, I could go and vote in three, four political parties. The time that they've given us to present our nomination rules and our list of contestants, mm -hmm. I think is too close to call. Oh yes. It is yes. too close to we call. We will have disgruntled members if we hurry it up. Yes. We need yes. more time. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. It will be better if we take the papers close out the nominations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And in that way we will be sure that we, everyone is satisfied with everything. Yes, Madam Kubwa. <laughs> that way we shall all be satisfied. Yeah. <laughs> Kweli. Chama. Chama nietu. Chama nietu. Chama nietu. Chama nietu. Politicians want an easy way out of things. And when they kind of want to influence uh, or to amend uh, a provision which is making it more restrictive, because basically this 
provision, whether it's Elections Act, they were all aimed at making our elections more honorable, you know, more transparent, more objective, and, and done in a more organized manner. Accidents, accidents do happen, you know, in nominations. I mean, if one of our preferred candidates uh, loses an election, I mean, they should be allowed to join any other party. Under the coalition. Uh -huh. but, but to save ourselves from the embarrassment of uh, losing to a nobody and then not running for elections, we, we need, we, you know, it's just about jumping into another party and getting the nomination elsewhere. I mean, especially if we have a coalition. Oh, yes. Uh, it, it is all under one alliance. Yes. yes. I don't yes. see a problem. There is they, problem. They, they ought to allow it. What you have is the old elites who have been always politicians wanting to determine what should be in terms of electoral process. The newcomers are struggling and kind of suffering in the whole electoral process. So we are failing to crack out the circulation of political fiefdoms for those who have always been there. You know, people can't imagine. The citizens also can't imagine that tomorrow so-and-so will not be in power. Let us put our interest first. Well, Chairman, uh, you have spoken like a wise politician. <laughs> <laughs> but how do we ensure that? By making sure that we don't have nominations in places that we might easily lose. Uh -huh. yes. Too risky. Huh? I, think. I suggest that in areas where we risk to lose, we suddenly postpone the nominations to the next day. Yeah. <laughs> yes, we change polling station dates and times at very short notice. That should keep them confused. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and uh, if everything else fails, and we can simply pay guys and cause chaos. Who cares? What about the press? Ah, I'm yeah. sure they're yeah. digging around trying to cut us out. Yes. Yes. Don't worry about that. That is not a problem at all. The Monaichi has a very short memory. <laughs> <laughs> they can only remember as um, you know, up to the next headline. <laughs> <laughs> so you know what we do? What we do is we create headlines. <laughs> there is a lot of self-interest rather than public interest that is moving people to act the way they are acting. We have got very few Kenyans committed to the public good. Among the politicians, there are very few who can die for Kenya, but they can die for their tribe. Ata venye iyo, iyo iso vita za last election. Hakuna mtu mwenye aliona, Raila na Kibaki, wakishika na matai, wakipiga na mawe, walikuwa somewhere, very safe. Sasa sisi wananchi. Ata wakitangaza ni nani ya mishinda. Tuende tutu pige kura, mtu rudi kwa nyumba yako, hawa watu wakisema ni fulani ameshinda na huku wa una expect ebu kwa nini tusiacha hawa watu wa fight wenyewe kila rally panaenda at peace for kenya na unacheki hao ndi wanaorganize tena hizi ma vijana waende wapigane unacheki so tumechoka na hii kusikiza at peace 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 nao ndi wanaorganize hizi vitu unacheki so it's better we start doing actions rather than just talking nonsense one thing that citizens can do and do it very well is to have a lot of vigilance on especially Kenya's civil service and the bureaucracy in general. The second thing that people can do is to go to the courts and demand that leaders effectively implement the constitution. Going to courts to challenge bad decisions is the key thing that people need to start looking forward to. We have to remain engaged. Our responsibility did not end in, in, in passing and voting for the new constitution. We must now uh, uh, stand for constitutionalism and cultivate that because it's not something that will happen overnight, especially when you have strong forces for, for status quo. So Kenyans have to really, really go back to the constitution, see the, the aspirations as espoused in that constitution, and do everything that uh, they can to make sure that the constitution is observed. <laughs> kiongozi bora kiongozi ambao wako na maendeleo ambapo ashafanya mambo yenye watu wanaona this time at least i'm going to think of myself i won't look at a leader only because of where he comes from or what his name represents just look at what i want to see and what i want kenya to be in a few years to come all you need to have is guys who are focused and guys who are selfless put the people first put the needs of the country first then uh, we can talk about having equal opportunities there. Kuna wengine wana pesa lakini maendeleo watuletei hapa. Wanakuja tu na tudanganya ni chagweni baada ya miaka 5 ndio tutamuona tena ameenda na ameenda kabisa. Wakati tumefunguka macho si wa Kenya tumekuwa wajanja zaidi.